Hi, you love fishing, right? I love fishing too. In a river system, when you are doing the float fishing for the salmon, you have to have a basic setup. And a lot of new guys are a new fishermen. They want to know us uh, how we are doing this salmon fishing in the river with the float fishing system. There's a lot of ways you can actually float fish, but this is the way we are doing here in Canada. And uh, this is a basic setup I'm going to show you. And I hope at the end, you'll know how to set your rod and reel and your terminal tackle. So let's do it. The first thing you need is a rod. This is, uh, I'm using Shimano Technium rod. The rod you can buy actually any kind of salmon or steelhead rod, but basically it has to be a little bit longer, like 10 feet and six inches at least, 10 and a half feet. You sometimes need to hold your rod all the way up. So you need a rod, salmon steelhead rod, kind of 10 and a half feet at least. I'm using Shimano. Uh, you can buy any other rod, but uh, try to get this on as there is a, when you buy a rod there's two things one is called power and another called action so my suggestion is to go with the power medium or medium heavy and the action medium or medium slow now get to the reel you can go with any kind of reel but it has to be a bait caster we are using Abu Garcia C3 6500 or 6501. If you are a right handed people, it's easy for you to go on the left hand reel. So it, the number will be 6501 C3 Abu Garcia. If you are a right handed person, you actually have to have a left hand reel. That way you can cast and you go with left hand to pull. If you are a left hand person, you have to buy a right hand reel so you can cast with the left hand and you can reel in with right hand. This reel actually very nice reel. It can go like years after years. You just uh, take a little service. You can do it yourself also at home. I do my almost all the reel. I service myself at home every season or even you can go and uh, wash with a hot water a little bit and it will be cleaned why i use this one because it can tackle every every kind of fish this uh, reel has almost 15 pound drag so basically you can pull like 45 pound to 50 pound anything from this reel the drag will handle that, that kind of thing so the rod and reel this is the basic setup you need to buy the rod has to be any kind 10 feet and half inch sorry the rod has to be any kind 10 and a half feet the reel you can buy something bait caster so any bait caster will do but we prefer this c3 abu garcia c3 main line we are using the main line 20 pound you can go with main line monofilament 20 pound i am using the Thailand Barclay Thailand XL smooth casting. What is the benefit of smooth casting regarding the other main line? They have a less memory and also very very smooth. I'm using this for last like four or five years and this is I love this one. So 20 pound for the main line 20 pound mono Thailand XL smooth cast. This is my preference you can go any other 20 pound the second thing we'll need something like this is called float stopper float stopper so float stopper i'll show you how to set up this one the float stopper actually go through the line and it will stop the float up in and out so we need float stopper we need a float at least the float uh, depending on the heavy current or heavy water we are uh, using 25 grams 30 grams or 35 grams uh, most of the time i'm using 30 grams if a small stream low current water flow is very slow we will go for 20 grams or 25 grams we need also weight this is a hollow core pencil lid i don't know if you can see this one there is a hollow here so this is called hollow core pencil lid i'm using 
quarter inch diameter so the quarter inch diameter you just go make it a, as much as you need if the current is very slow we use like this much like inch and half something like that if this is a very high current we can go even two inch three inch or even four inch depending on the current and heavy water when i set up this one we'll discuss this more you need a bead uh, you can leave this on if i sometimes use sometimes not but if you know that uh, you are going to go for a, a long lot of current and heavy water you can uh, use this one also we need some swivel this is the swivel i prefer the barrel swivel and this is a size i will uh, go for seven to eight or even you know six seven or eight I prefer number seven then comes the leader line the leader line we are going to use is 15 pounds we are going to go for chinook salmon or cham salmon and sometimes for the coho we downsize this one to like 10 pound to 12 pound this is completely 100 percent fluorocarbon i don't know if you can see this one it's written here 100 percent fluorocarbon when this this line go this leader is actually very close to the fish and the fish you should not see your leader line we are using this one for almost like seven to eight years now and we are very 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 satisfied with this the next terminal tackle is your hook this is very nice hook we are using this one finally and we try many many other hooks and they are not working the first reason we buy this one the owner this is called owner hook no escape and we using number one for a big spring or big chum you can use one knot or you can use number two but if two is little bit small one knot is little over you know big but this is my preference number one for a spring big spring or chum salmon for the coho we are actually using number four very tiny small hook so the fish cannot see the hook when they are coming through you have to size your hook according to your bait presentation if you can see the hook this is actually in british columbia or i think any other part of the canada you have to use barbless hook this no escape hook is actually barbless there is no barb there is no barb no barb here this is barbless if you can see this one clearly this is barbless hook and this is very nice hook this is called owner no escape hook number one and finally come to the bait uh, what we use in uh, here i'm going to try to take this one a little bit out this is salmon roe or salmon egg this is a salmon egg or salmon roe we cure this one this is called cure roe you can buy this one in any store we actually when we get any fish female fish and there is egg we bring this home and we make this one a small small packet i just keep a little bit here to for the demonstration and finally there is another kind of thing you can use wool or yarn they call here you can go for the blood red the red color is for chinook salmon or any other you know cham salmon and for coho sometimes we use charteras or little greenish type of thing or maybe some yellow type of thing this is kind of wool just the wool we can cut this one and we actually use this one as a presentation same like to imitate the bait for uh, raw or egg so that's all now we are going to make this uh, setup i'm going to use the reel i'm going to use the main line to pull this out and finally i'll show you how to make this uh, the terminal tackle it's a very big rod i'm just going halfway so that way i can tackle this here in this area it's a very small way this is a right handed reel so I just put like this here in the groove and make it tight.
we set the rail here now I need to take out the rail spool you might need a two person here but I don't have anybody so I just need to do it myself what I am doing is the arbor knot I take it out from the eye of the rod and then here is the guide this is from the outside from the guide and take another one and I'll put the arbor knot you can check this one in online it's very easy when you spool the line you have to hold something here tight if there is somebody else with you or your friend or buddy you, you tell him to hold this one tight so I am pulling this line right now alone let's see how far we can go so it, there will be almost 220 to 240 yards but if you buy a new reel or you can go to the a store the, any fishing tackle store they will spool your line so this part is easy and go through all the guide of the rod make sure that this is going through actually inside sometimes I see a lot of people go somewhere you know not in the middle of the eye but in the blank of the you know the guide side of the guide don't do this one go all the way to the middle of the guide see if everything is perfect middle middle and middle take more slack be careful not to lose any guide go one by one that way you'll be sure that you go through everything perfectly I always double check that all my line is go through exactly middle of the guide I start with this end so here will be your bobber stopper I'll show you the float stopper then the float then again the float stopper and then again one bead and then your weight and then swivel and then the terminal again. so let's let's go start so this is the float stopper and I'm, I have an open one here so I'm going to use this I'm going to put two in here first so there is an eye you put this one into the eye you can moist this one little bit you moist your line a little bit here and then hold this two and pull this one by one and then it will come out so this is the first thing put the float stopper take it a little bit further more and then this is your float I'm going to use 30 gram float go to the top section pass through your line let it go there I'll go another two in the down part so you see this is one here two so one strand is two there there is a eye I put my line into the eye again and I'm going to moist a little bit so it will be easy and go one by one another one go all the way all the way and you're done so that actually help you where your foot will stop you can go like more up or more down so our float section is done the secondly we need to put our weight cut the weight you must need a pliers or cutting tools for the 30 ounce uh, 30 grams weight I will go this much maybe 2 inches
try not to go all the way in otherwise the hole will be blocked so i just cut a little bit is a small small side and round and then i just break this that way the hole is there this is almost two inches use the hole to pass through this line so that's your weight we'll put a small bit there to protect your knot up to the swivel so any size 5 bead this is size 5 bead you can go size 6 or 5 will be enough uh, it's uh, just a small bead is 5 or 6 is uh, way enough this will actually help when the when you cast the weight will go up and down and it will slam into the knot there what is the, in, into the swivel the bead part is done and now we are going to put a swivel you can put the swivel lot of way a lot of knots there you can check online this will be very easy i use this knot there is a lot of knot you can use any knot but i find this one is very easy for me and this knot holds the line very nicely once you are done cut little bit extra like almost half inch to quarter inch that's it the swivel is there when you cast a lot of time this weight will hit this knot as we have this bead it will not directly hit to the knot it will just hit to the bead that's the purpose of the bead now we at least save our knot there so this part is done now is the terminal tackle the presentation has to be there and we are using like 15 pound fluorocarbon leader the leader actually we are using almost like 18 inches to 36 inches 30 inches depends on the water condition the water flow so the leader we are making today is almost like two feet so this is like one feet and that one like two feet i cut little extra so i can make my hook and uh, the swivel knot we're using the number one hook you have to know this knot this is called egg loop knot you can go online and try yourself or learn from there this is very easy and once you do like two or three or five knot you will be expert for sure you see the egg loop now this is the fun part for egg loop he creates a loop egg loop so this loop we put bait here you see this loop we put the bait here again when you cut this line here just cut keep a tiny bit a small area this knot also easy you can try online again check online for the knots and everything and now we are done for our leader this is our leader almost two feet so now the presentation today i'm going to show you also egg and uh, the yarn you can cut the yarn a little bit chunk half inch i took almost half inch hold this open your egg loop put this inside the egg loop and tie this one try to keep this in the middle for the presentation you need to go like this and cut a little like make it very nice and smooth cut and try to get it's round as soon as you do the round thing here and you let go spread this one a little bit you see this this looks like an egg this looks like presentation is like an egg when this is in the water fish will think this is salmon egg that's the presentation resemble like egg almost like round nice clean round and small 
this is the presentation with the yarn that's how the fish will bite they thought this is the egg salmon egg and they'll come and bite so this is one way and the other way if you are not using this wool sometimes if the water is very clear and the water is you know slow fish will not bite this for sure then you have to use the rope if you are fishing in slow water clean water the better chance you will get fish using the row i have some row here so you take like this much salmon egg i open the loop again i go through in the middle And wrap around that's it now your egg loop is holding the egg as soon as the fish bite they'll go they'll caught up the point of your hook has need to be open it should not be covered with anything fish come and grab and they'll go fish come and grab and they'll go so this is all thank you for watching if you have any questions or comment please uh, write down in the comment section that's it let's go for fishing tomorrow thank you